Hello, travelers. Hello, everyone. So we are here today to tell you that we are going on our first trip since the COVID pandemic started. Uh, we're going to be leaving in less than two days, about a day and a half. Going to be leaving, headed down to the Florida Keys, and we're here to tell you all about it and see if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about your own travel coming up that we may be able to get some answers for on you, on for you. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be leaving Thursday morning, 7 a.m. I'm trying to leave a day early. <laughs> See, American Airlines sent us an email and asked if we would voluntarily be bumped from our flight. And I suggested maybe going down the night before. I think that's where she got Thursday. It could be. But we're sticking with Friday. Friday is the goal. Friday is the goal. So um, we just wanted to take this trip. Tourism reopened to key, well, the Keys on June 1st. So we wanted to take this trip and show you what it's like to travel now that the um, there are so many precautions with COVID. So we wanted to show you specifically what it's like to fly and to get through TSA and to rent a car. And we'll also be showing you what it's like to visit the many establishments, the parks and restaurants and um, resorts and hotels in the Keys. We will be staying at a resort on Key Largo, but we will also be visiting three other resorts up and down the Keys, all the way from Key Largo down to Key West, uh, so that we can kind of um, learn those properties, so that if you have questions about them, uh, we know those answers. And uh, yeah, it's going to be incredible. So let's walk you through our agenda. Go ahead. Day one. Uh, our flights take off here from Pittsburgh at 7 a.m. We will be on the ground in Miami, Florida before 10 a.m. We're going to be renting a car and we're going to take you along with us on live video for as much of this as we can, just so you can see what the experience is like. Uh, we'll be renting a car at the airport in Miami and getting right on the road headed down to the Keys. Now, check-in at our hotel is not until 3 p.m., so we're going to have a little time to kill so we're actually going to blow past our hotel in Key Largo. And what are we doing first? We are going to the Windley Fossil Reef Geological Park. Yeah, I'm reading that off of another screen. I, there's no way I could have remembered all of that, you know, that many words in a row. So if you see me looking off to the side here, I'm just I'm checking so I know what I'm supposed to say. Behind the scenes information, folks. <laughs> So this park, um, it was a place where mining was taking place so that they could build the railroad that was supposed to run down through the Keys. Um, during the, the digging, they found lots of fossils in the walls. So that you can still walk in there and see where they've dug, you know, feet and feet and feet down into the earth and found fossils. It's I think it's going to be awesome. And that's our first stop. Our next stop. We'll be headed back to Key Largo uh, to check into our hotel. And once we're checked in, we are going to the Key West, sorry, Key Largo Fisheries. Uh, it is a fish market. They have their own fishing vessels and everything they sell in the store is straight out of the water. Um, one of the many joys that we have when we're not at all inclusives, we try and get hotels with a kitchen so we can experience some of the local food, some of the local flair without having to go out to eat every night. So we're gonna go buy some fresh seafood, then go back to the hotel and cook ourselves an awesome seafood dinner. Fresh Florida seafood, nothing like it in the world. And we'll be staying at the Waterside Resort and Marina. One of the um, things we like to do, like you said, was get a place with a kitchen. So that doesn't mean you have to go through Airbnb. Lots of hotels have kitchens. Um, the one we're staying at, is very nice. They're they're kind of like townhomes. So um, we'll be showing you that when we get there. Yeah, it's a, it's a split level uh, unit um, with a kitchen, a bathroom, separate living area, bedroom. It's like having your own little house. Um, it's it's fantastic. It's actually it's like all inclusive plus on the room type because you have all those separate areas, but you have a kitchen also. 
um, and we like to cook. So mm -hmm. um, not only is it good for us because we get to go out and buy some of that fresh seafood and cook it ourselves the way we know we'll like it, but it also saves you a little bit of, uh, of cash flow. You don't have to go out to eat every night. All right. So we'll try and breeze through the rest of our agenda. We don't want to keep you here all day. We do. We could talk all day. We but. could talk all day. <laughs> so on Saturday, we're going to take the jaunt all the way down to Key West, and we're going to see the attractions, the southernmost point, mile marker zero, and we have the Fort Zachary Taylor Beach. Um, looks amazing. And then we're going to tour a couple of Mm, well, one of them's a resort, one's a motel. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can see some options on where you could stay. And when you hear the word motel, don't let that be off-putting. I know a lot of people have uh, a bad... Uh, impression? Impression. We'll call it a bad impression because the word I was going to use was way less appropriate. People get a bad impression of motels. Um, in Key West, there are strict uh, building permit codes that only lets you build buildings so high. So you're not gonna find the huge 40 story high, high rise condos or the eight story high resorts that you might expect to find in other beach towns. And then on Sunday, we're gonna, we're gonna take the trip out. Oh. Forgot to mention, um, one of the resorts that we're going to be visiting Saturday in Key West is the Margaritaville Resort, the original Margaritaville. I'm very excited to see what they have to offer. Definitely. Sorry, as you were. <laughs> Moving on to Sunday. We're gonna be going about halfway down through the Keys to Marathon. We're gonna see the National Key Deer Refuge. It's exactly what it sounds like, but there's also a lot of nature and hiking. They actually have their own breed of deer in the Florida Keys. I've seen mainland Florida deer, and they're tiny. They're like this big, this big. But the key deer are actually even smaller. So I'm very curious to see uh, what they're all about. Great. And you will. And I will. <laughs> and that day, we're also going to drive across the Seven Mile Bridge, which is a big landmark. And we're going to visit Sombrero Beach, which sounds like so much fun. Plus, they do special events there that Jeremy is very excited about because... OMG. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on the clock and try not to run over a minute on this because I could talk about it literally forever. The sea turtle is my spirit animal. Um, if you go on my Facebook page, you'll actually see an awesome video that I posted earlier today. But enough about that on with what, what will be. There is a turtle hospital on Marathon Key. Uh, it's a rehabilitation facility where they take in injured sea turtles, rehabilitate them, and then some of them, most of them are re-released into the wild. The ones that can't be fully rehabilitated are permanent residents there. Uh, but we're going to go visit the turtle hospital, visit the sea turtles, and we have not yet heard back about any potential turtle releases that they may be having, but if they have a turtle release, it will be at Sombrero Beach, and I don't care what day, what time it is. I don't care if I have to book an extra day. I'm going to be there. And one minute. <laughs> so that'll be a full day on Sunday. And then Monday, we're going to visit um, Long Key State Park. But the main feature of that day is we're visiting Little Key, Little Palm Island Resort. <laughs> Oh my Lord, one of the most exclusive resorts in the country. Um, it's kind of crazy. We have only seen it in pictures thus far, um, but it is its own private island. There is no internet. There is no television. You have to take a boat or seaplane to reach the resort. Um, and we contacted them right away when we found out we were going to be going um, because it just... It seems like the ultimate in unwinding. And um, wellness. Yeah. Yeah, just focus on you and reconnecting with nature. And beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Very excited. And then our final day is Tuesday. <sighs> so we plan to explore Key Largo a little more deeply before we leave the island. Mm -hmm. And just get ready to depart for home. It's always so sad to think about a trip ending, but 
My favorite part about a trip ending is then you can start thinking about the next trip. And believe it or not, we've actually already started on that. Top secret. Top secret. Mm, no, now that travel's returning, we're definitely going to start getting out there and getting you guys the information that you need to get yourselves out there. So keep keep tuned. We'll keep we, you updated. We have a lot planned. Um, we're doing this trip to focus on domestic travel. Um, there may or may not be an update from us on international all-inclusive and or cruise between now and the end of the year. Um, if there are any questions that you have that you would like us to answer while we're on this trip or any of our others, please, please send them into Facebook, send them by email, send them by text message, call me on the phone. Our phone number is 412-880-3454. You can reach by phone or text. Facebook, Twitter, uh, comment on one of our many YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. We're we now, now have yeah. Instagram. We signed up for this trip, so. I have no idea what it is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not one of these young kids. She knows. <laughs> all right. We'll let you go. And we hope you all enjoyed. And we'll talk to you again come Friday morning. And if you're not up at you know, 6 o'clock on Friday morning, we'll be checking back in with you Friday afternoon once we're in Florida. All right. Bye, travelers. Bye-bye.